Hi, welcome to Go and See TV and part three of our ice cream tour of Toronto. If you haven't seen parts one and two, I'll leave links in the description box below so you can check them out later. If you've been searching for ice cream in Toronto lately, you've probably seen photos of those egg-looking waffles wrapped around soft-serve ice cream. Now, those egg-looking waffles originated from Hong Kong and translated from Chinese, they're called little chicken eggs because, well, they look like little chicken eggs. Now, those egg waffles are delicious on their own, but some smart person thought about combining them with soft-serve ice cream for even more awesomeness, which is exactly what we're going to be checking out today. Now, since those egg waffles originated in Hong Kong, we're going to be traveling to a town just north of Toronto called Markham with a large Asian-Canadian population. And Markham just also happens to have two of the most well-known shops that sell these egg waffle and soft serve ice cream treats. So if you're ready, let's go and see what these Hong Kong waffles and soft serve ice cream treats are all about. It'll be easiest to drive to Markham as it's about a 30 or 40 minute drive from downtown Toronto. You can take public transport, but it'll take you about an hour and it won't be cheap. If you are driving, get ready for some traffic. It may be hard to tell from the video, but we visited in the middle of a weekday and hit US style traffic on major highways. All right, so we've just arrived after a pretty long drive. We're here at 8360 Kennedy Road at a rather nondescript strip mall, which you can see just behind me. There you go. Now our first stop is called Woofles and Cream, and it's at number unit 81 inside that mall. So now that we're here, let's go and check it out. If you haven't been to an Asian mall before, there are a lot of them scattered throughout the north and northeastern parts of Toronto. They're similar to the ones you'll find out in California. This one is fairly typical of the ones in Toronto, and they're also newer or larger ones. As you can see, this mall called New Kennedy Square is pretty casual, so you'll have no problem bringing large groups or kids. Woofles and Cream is located in the food court, which may be fairly noisy depending on how crowded it is. Woofles and Cream often has rotating flavors, so they will probably differ when you visit. We sampled the Black Sesame Soft Serve. You can check their Instagram to see what flavors they offer when you visit, and also their hours. They also have flavored waffles, but we ordered the plain one. If you want your waffle and ice cream separate, they can do that too. Great. Original and the black sesame, so break off the bubbles and dip, or you can eat it like a hundred. Okay, thank you, and thank you. Alright, All right, so I made our first stop at Woofles and Cream, and here is the cone. And I have to say, it looks absolutely beautiful. So what I got today was the original waffle. Waffle. So it's just plain. It's the Hong Kong style plain uh, egg waffle. And today the ice cream flavor they had was uh, the black sesame uh, soft serve. Unfortunately, they didn't have the matcha green tea today, but um, this is what it is. As they say. Well, the black sesame soft serve ice cream is really good. It tastes like the traditional um, Asian dessert, which you get um, the tong yun. These, uh, glutinous rice balls with the black sesame filling inside. So this is exactly what this uh, black sesame soft serve tastes like. So if you're familiar with that dessert, you'll really like it. And I really like those um, tongue yin desserts with the black sesame. So this is really good soft serve. And I could be wrong, but the soft serve might have a little bit of a vanilla taste. So its base might be vanilla. It's really good. But of course, now here comes the other 50%. The egg waffle. So these ones are crispy. And the inside is nice and soft. And it's not too sweet. I've had some of these uh, Hong Kong style egg waffles that are very sweet. But this one is not that sweet. I'll break open one of the egg waffles so you can see what it looks like. Let's see if that'll focus. I don't know if it'll focus that, but um, that's the inside of the egg waffle. It's really good on a hot day like today. Today we're having a classic summer weather up here in Toronto, Canada. Now, if you watch part two, of our ice cream tour of Toronto, where we visited Halo Crunch. 
just in terms of a literal comparison, this soft serve is uh, tastes more mild and it's more subtle. It's not as sweet as the Halo Crunch. I had the Uber Haze, um, which was a mix of the uh, black charcoal and Uwe at Yellow Crunch. Crunch. And it was relatively sweet compared to this uh, Wolfles and Cream soft serve. So, final verdict. Definitely after trying the uh, Wolfles and Cream, uh, soft serve ice cream and Hong Kong style waffle, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want a summertime treat that's not that sweet, but it has some Asian flavors, in this case I got the black sesame, um, I really recommend it. The soft serve has the, t the black sesame taste, but it isn't overly sweet, nor is it overwhelming for someone who's never tried this kind of flavor before. And the Hong Kong style waffle is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. And uh, again, they're not the waffle's not overly sweet. I've had some overly sweet ones, which um, I don't really like. So this one is just my style. The soft serve is nice and subtle, and so is the Hong Kong style waffle. So definitely come check out Wuffles and Cream if you are in the area uh, for a nice summertime treat. All right, so now on to the next stop. And be sure to stay tuned for part four of our ice cream tour of Toronto at Toast Delight. <laughs>